to Max Mopanyani. Max, good evening and thank you for joining us. The entire good evening and uh, thank you for inviting me. Now, the entire country is in shock and so is this, the, the soccer fraternity. What is your reaction on the passing of the legendary film Asinga? Well, it is very sad and I want to start by sending condolences to the family and friends and uh, I just need to say it has always been reported that uh, he is suffering and uh, he, because of ill health he hasn't really been going back to work and all that. But having said that though, it's, uh, it's just always sad to hear news of a young star like Phil Massinger uh, dying at a young age and I should say that is really gone too soon. Now take us back to the time when Phil played for South African teams, Cosmos and Sundowns. What was it like for him? I knew him as a youngster that had a lot of energy and ambitions and uh, we would sit together and talk about uh, scoring goals and all that because we happened to be in the same area in Protea North when Cosmos uh, players were staying there. And uh, Phil was with the, the likes of Eric September in that same area. But then he was a youngster that always had the nose for an ambition to be, a nose for goals and an ambition to be the best that was. And he was working towards that all the time. And that is why he ended up uh, with his records of having played well in England at least and having played well also in Italy. So he deserved everything that he ended in life, knowing him from a youngster who was always ambitious to be the best striker. Yes, and then you mentioned Masinga had an illustrious career in European football with Leeds, Leeds, Bari and Salaritana. Many stars reacting to his death. Let's take a look at some of those tweets. Well, Bafana Bafana says, sad day for South African football, a loyal servant of the game on and off the field of play, Safa legend. Leeds United says, it was a great sadness that the club has learnt of former striker Phil Massinger's passing. Mamalodi Sundowns on behalf of, the pre on behalf of its president, Dr. Patrice Mutsepe. And FIFA World Cup also tweeted the man whose goal secured South Africa's qualification to France in 1998, the country's first World Cup. Our thoughts are with the family of Phil Massinger. So, Marx, he made a huge impact on the field for Bafana Bafana. There was that famous goal against Congo Brazzaville that saw us qualify for the 1998 World Cup. How were you feeling at that time? Yeah, in fact, uh, you're talking about the later stages where he scored that important goal that took us to the World Cup. A lot of South Africans have to and will always remember Phil for just his week-in and week-out commitment on the field for Cosmos. I mean, he was uh, one of those fearsome strikers. I can recall when Kaza Chiefs was about to win the league, and I'm sure a few people will remember that, when uh, Sundown's team was sitting on the Cosmos bench, waiting in case Kaiser Chiefs loses, then they win the league. And we lost by that solitary goal of Phil Massinga. Gary Bailey was in goals. And that's how Sundown celebrated. So uh, at home, he has really dazzled a few uh, opponents. And the fans should remember him for that. But who can forget the BP Top 8 uh, final where he scored a hat trick? I'm sure you can also remember that. Okay. And uh, that's when Cosmos won the BP Top 8. And then that was when the player of the year, I'm sorry, the player of the tournament was uh, or had to be between him and, uh, and Fanny Madida. And Fanny Madida got the prize and then they, he was instructed to send it back or give it back. And then it was awarded to Phil. Because one of the, uh, he's one of the few players that had scored a hat-trick in the final. And that obviously takes a lot of feet. But always that posture that I will always remember. That lanky man, always winning all the area balls with purpose, but also very short shots and putting that uh, brake fluid oil on those legs and just loving putting the ball in the back of the net. And his celebrations too, if you followed Phil. He, I just had that celebration that I always liked. Now, Marx, we spoke about his achievements and his, we know about his wonderful skill as a soccer player. Tell us about Masinga's personal demeanor. He was well-loved. What kind of a person was he? 
Unfortunately, I knew him also as a person, as I say now. Often you find that when we're not talking football, when we're not at the game, we would be just hanging around at my place and we would be playing uh, table tennis. And we'll be just talking about a lot of things, talking about life and other things around there. And he was just one of those down to earth. I mean, all the time, all the time, feel always asked questions, wanted answers, and wanted to be the best that he could be. And he never thought, I have arrived, I'm one of the youngsters that uh, are now taking over you. Because remember when Phil started uh, making headlines, that was when some of us were now starting to just get to the twilight of the career. And that's when he was always trying to hang around. And I was privileged to share rooms with him during the national team trips. If you can recall, Zimbabwe and, uh, and and Zambia, and all those trips to uh, Nigeria, that's when Phil was a uh, striker, and fortunately, because we are the best of friends, that's when it was easy to know who the, t the roommates would be. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. Max Maponiani, soccer player, former soccer player and commentator, paying tribute to the late Philemon Masengi.